Hola. So I'm about to open my palette full pack from February. I will draw a little something like that. Oh my <laughs> So, this is what it looks like when you open it. So, let's see what are we have. First of all, we have this lovely, I guess it's sketchable but it feels kind of like way too thin to be a sketchbook. Does not compute. Does not compute. So, you know, be careful. We have three Tombow ABT markers. What are based? They're Tombows. And yellow. Actually, it is 131. Then we have 195. And two forty-five. And then we have this super cool micron. Yeah. So it's got a point one five millimeter, point two, point two five, point three, point three five, point four five, point five, point six, point seven, and an approximate point four five. Too bad it doesn't have a brush or a graphic. I'm, I'm this one. I've misplaced it. So, okay. This is the green tone set, which is $9.57. And this is $35.95 for the sketching pack. And this is $11.99. It's a, it features Hello Alice. I love, I love her stuff, but I'm really kind of not sure that that's actually 70 pound paper. It doesn't feel thick enough to be, but hopefully it is. Fingers crossed. So first we're swatching. And I'm swatching in the Ohuhu sketchbook again um, because that front cover area is just like all the paper. And I really liked how easy it was to color with these. This is the first time I've ever used a Tombow. So um, I had always wanted to try one. So I'm kind of glad that they sent me these. God, okay, I'm gonna do it, I guess. <sighs> so this month, the prompts are cabin, furry, leaf, or eye. So I went with leaf. And I had already drawn these before I started filming. And so I got out my Ohuhu sketchbook again. Actually, I hadn't put it up from swatching. And I got out the microns to work on the line work. And you get to see how lovely my um, essential trimmer is going to be with all of this. So uh, I ended up picking up the wrong one to do the PN because it's only 0.45 millimeters. And what I actually needed was the micron 12 or the Micron 10, which I'll switch to later, and I'll come back and do these over again. Um, but anyway, it's kind of nerve-wracking doing the drawing in any, even over my own lines uh, when I only have like the one hand to do it because I'm kind of looking through my phone to record this, but I guess I'll eventually get the hang of it. Um, I went in with the 003 
to do the little details on that leaf because it looked more intricate so I figured that would be a better fit for it it would give it kind of a more delicate look um, so <laughs> Yeah, my line work needs leaves something to be uh, desired. I'm doing some more fine lines with the 003. And I decided instead of doing the outside first to work on the inside lines first. And that was actually a better solution. It was less nerve wracking and it gave me something to really focus on because you don't want to screw up the little lines. You can kind of cover over the outside line a little better than with the tiny lines. You can tell when there's a, mess, a screw up there. So there, I'm showing off that pen again. Very proud of these. They're so pretty. Uh, then I went in with a 005 because I wanted to give each leaf its own kind of thing. And then we did some of the little lines. Actually, I did all of the little lines, but... I will not bore you with every single line on every single leaf. Come on, Janet, you know you've got to cut out some of this. Yes, I'm singing again. I do that. I, I don't know why. But you'll get used to it or you'll leave. Either way, I'm still going to be me and you're still going to be you and that's how things should be. So, uh... <laughs> Now that I've just gone on that little weird rant, or lecture, or whatever, I started working on some of the other leaves. Um, it's really hard not to like, scrap this whole plan and go do it all over again until I got it perfect, because my brain was just totally itching from the screw-ups on the line work, but I kept going. So, you know, snaps for me. Um... I went over the outside line with a 12 here. Uh, that particular leaf was pretty easy to draw because originally, because it's basically just a heart that's upside down with a little line through it. That one was weird, but it was also kind of easy in its own way because it was kind of just like, go with the flow. I have no idea what some of these leaves are for or like any of the leaves are for because leaves aren't really my thing, I'm more of a flowers person, which, you know, eventually I'll be able to show you guys more of, <laughs> but I'm um, trying to do a prompt for the first time, and this actually is the first art prompt I've ever, prompt I've ever done with one of their uh, packs, so, it was interesting, I had, I had fun, you know, nerve-wracking fun, but all, all fun for me can be kind of nerve-wracking, because, you know, anxiety <laughs> all the joys of having weird amounts of neurochemistry neurotransmitters see i know words sometimes sometimes i know words and yes working upside down was actually so that i wouldn't start blurring the line work because it felt like i was smudging it even though the microns dry pretty fast i just wanted to like make sure and also it's a lot easier when you've got it like situated just right and this felt more natural to do the line work than the other way so if my brain can handle it that way then I guess that's how I'll do it um, so that was probably my favorite one like the the one that's got the two leaves coming off of it. I, I don't know why. It was just, it seemed the most natural, which is kind of weird because I have no idea what it's for. So I don't know if it's natural or not. But, um, so now I'm almost done with the line work. And there I'm getting out the 03 to do a few remaining lines on that one. I think there may be like one other that I haven't finished the line work on. Let's see. I 
And now I'm going to get out my cute little eraser. Um, I have to use polymer erasers because I'm allergic to uh, latex. And so kneaded erasers would cause me to, you know, swell up and die. So I get polymer erasers and those were just like the cutest polymer erasers I'd ever seen. So I had to get some of those. I should have used the other end to get some of the little eraser leftovers. Um, but I didn't at that point. And then I s gave myself a quick swatch of the Tombow markers so I didn't have to keep fl flipping back and forth as I colored stuff in. And now, let us start the coloring process. This was actually pretty fun. Um, I enjoyed doing it. I wish I had done a little bit more of the yellow than that than the darker greens but the yellow green instead of the darker greens um, I also kind of wish that I hadn't gotten an all green set because you know I'm, I'm not a fan of the color green but I think it ends up turning out pretty well I think I'm pretty proud of it there were some points that I got a little annoyed with the markers and kind of wondered if I could get a better variation if I got out some water and like tried to use them as watercolor markers because I mean they're water based so there's a possibility that might work but I didn't know if it would work with these and honestly I didn't have that long to do all of the work before I had to go back and spend some time with my family. Not that that's like a punishment or anything, it's just I only get a certain amount of time every day to work on things by myself. So uh, I was using that today to work on the video and on this. So uh, I didn't want to deprive them because it's important to spend time with family whenever you can. So uh, I just of went with the flow with these and that's probably a good thing for me to do it kind of calms me down and gets some of my anxiety under control um, but I, I I had fun with this it was it was good um, and it kind of distracted me from the whole ice storm happening outside my room, although it's pretty easy to tell because it's cold here, and it's never this cold in Huntsville, at least not when there's actually per precipitation on the ground, so, but it's so weird to be in an ice storm. I don't think we've had an official ice storm since I was like in elementary school. So that's been a long time, especially since tomorrow is my birthday, Yay! which I'm sure people will be glad to stop hearing about in other social media platforms because I talk about it a lot. Um, and so I was going to do that top leaf as kind of like a flower and it, it just looks kind of weird, but it also looks kind of cool. I don't know. Regrets, I have a few. But I did it my way. And in case you're wondering, yes, that's a lyric. If you didn't know that, I'm very sad. And so are the Sex Pistols and Frank Sinatra. So we're all judging you. Although Frank Sinatra was kind of easy in a way, and um, so, so was Sid from the Sex Pistols, so if you don't know all of that, Wikipedia is your friend, Google is your friend, find out why. Um, before I run out of time, I want to remind you guys to like and subscribe, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the little notification bell so that you can see my videos when they come out 
and it helps my algorithms or something, but yay, please do that. I would very much appreciate it. Nothing bad is going to happen if you don't, but it would just be kind of cool if you did. And like encourage other people to subscribe. I would eventually like to have like a, a really nice community going here, so if you're interested in that too, help me spread the word and recruit more fellow weirdos for our lovely little channel. Uh, yes, that is basically a plain leaf. It's just all one shade of green. And looking so streaky right there, but not like streaky like that dude who was at the Super Bowl event. That was a whole different kind of streaky. I still haven't seen any of the Super Bowl commercials. I really need to get on that. It's weird because normally I watch the Super Bowl for the commercials. I'll like do everything during the rest of the when they're actually playing so I can see stuff during the game but this year I was like nope not gonna watch. So I don't know why. I think I may have been doing something that night. Like, Trying to figure out what to draw or something. And here I go working on the sketchbook from the from the palette roll pack instead of my own. I wanted to see how the paper worked and if it was thick enough to handle being colored in with the markers. So we was about to find out. I wanted to use all three markers on this. Oh, and look, there's a 10, which I'm using for the center part. Cut out all the parts where I screwed up on that center part of the leaf. And then I go back in with a 12 for the edge. And it actually turned out pretty well with that line work besides, you know, the, the monstrosity that is the center. I don't know why I didn't use the other end of the Tombow to color in those because it would have been thinner and it would have worked better, but we live and learn, or, you know, in this case, I don't learn because I don't know why I didn't. Oh, one day. There I go. Coloring in each segment. Such fun. Actually, it is kind of fun to color in triangles. I, I don't know why, it just makes my brain happy. You would think that somebody whose lucky number is five would find more happiness in like drawing in or coloring in pentagons, but apparently I, I like triangles for some reason. It's weird. was going to do both sides of that leaf with the same color, and I really tried to do it. But then I just wasn't feeling the right side with that color, so I'm going to come back in a minute with the darker green. The, what is it? 235, 245? And color over the right side, which, I mean, it's, it's going to give it some nice coloring, but it's also going to help me determine how well that paper stands up to the markers that were sent. And we'll find out in just a few seconds. The suspense. Is it killing you? I hope not, because that would really suck. But see, it started peeling the paper and the color started going through. So. Beware if you've got one of these packs. It's time for the entree. So, these are some things that, there's some of the pride stickers that I worked on and then there are some other things that I worked on 
and I had gone through with the Micron and done the line art on it, on those things, and I still need to scan them in and create actual stickers. Cheers. Hello. Hello, Alice.